What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's 63, Fight Night 63. Let's get into it. Uh, there's six fights on the main card here, and I'm calling a prelim. Plus, the names on this card aren't huge, but if you're familiar with MMA, you know don't sleep on this event because I think it's going to be good. So first up, on the prelims, I'm calling Lauren Murphy to beat Liz Carmouche. These ladies are very evenly matched and similarly skilled. Wrestlers first, hard hitters, very durable, very strong. I think this is going to be a good fight. I'm calling it for Murphy, though. Into the main event, Dustin. I'm calling for, for Dustin Poirier to beat Diego Ferreira. Dustin is moving up in weight to, feather, uh, to light weight. However, they're both 5'9". This isn't going to be a major difference for him, so let's see how he fares. Calling it for Poirier. Next up, I'm choosing Clay Guida to beat Robbie Peralta. I'm choosing Juliana Pena to beat Milana Duidieva. Sorry for that. I'm choosing Michael Chiesa to beat Mitch Clark. This one's a toss-up and a contender for fight of the night. I think these two are going to go at it. Uh, Michael Chiesa is kind of a madman. Got that, that aggression, uh, that chaotic aggression. Very tough, very durable. Uh, cardio's there. Uh, Mitch Clark's very, he's much more refined, much more technical. I am giving it to Chiesa. However, toss-up, this is going to be a good fight. Now, Co-main event, we are seeing Al Iaquinta take on Jorge Masvidal. I think this is going to be a good fight as well. I just think that Jorge is coming across Al while Al is in mid-stride. Oh my gosh, I think things are coming together for Al. He's got a great camp. He's up there with Sarah and Weidman. He uh, physically, mentally, he's able to soak up all these new things uh, like a sponge and apply them to his, to his fighting in ring he's able to keep his cool he's able to weather the storm and come back his cardio's there again i think everything is coming into place for al Quinta. now jorge this is gonna be a good fight it's gonna be close i think jorge is a bit more inventive i think we could see a submission victory from jorge however i am calling it for al Quinta. now main event this was all of these fights were tough for me all of these fights were really close for me none were more tough than this. We're seeing Chad Mendez take on Ricardo Lamas, the upper enchilot of the uh, featherweight division, which is getting really interesting. One through seven. Very close. So, these are very similarly matched, similarly skilled. They're both wrestlers first who have developed stand-up games that are so good that they can beat opponents without using their wrestling now. So, yeah, as we can see them, of course, whoever makes a mistake first could lose. Of course, that's obvious. But for me, they're so talented, so similarly matched. I think beware of getting stuck in ruts. You know, a lot of times with two good wrestlers, it cancels each other out and they start having a, strike, a striking contest. Plus with a lot of wrestlers, once they develop the hands, they want to prove that they can knock people out. So we could see a stand-up battle. We could see them revert back to their strong points, which is, which is wrestling. I think for these two, I think, of course, whoever makes a mistake first. Also, I think who's ever more inventive and creative within the fight. I think if this is a stand-up battle for the first couple of rounds, whoever drops to the wrestling first or to dirty boxing first may get the other one off of their rhythm, rhythm may uh, throw them out of the element, could throw them off their game and win that way. I think whoever is able to adapt and really go with the flow within the match is going to win. I think someone who's more inventive, more diversity, maybe uh, more leg kicks than we, we have seen before, a flying arm bar maybe, I don't know, but I think you're going to have to mix it up. Okay? I think who's ever more inventive in this fight is going to mix it up because they're so similarly matched and so good. So good, you can't count on the mistake. So, who am I going to pick? <laughs> From what I've seen lately, because I think it's going to go to whoever can adapt the best and who's more inventive, I am going to go with Ricardo Lamas. Now, this is a toss-up. It was very hard for me to call this. It could go to Chad Mendes. Let me just make that very clear. But I think Ricardo, Ricardo just, he seemed, I don't know what does hungry mean. I don't know what hungry means, but he just seems more primed to get it. So I'm calling it for Ricardo, but very close, not sure. Now, real quick, I just want to break down what I think is going to happen here, what I think should happen in the featherweight division, because it's getting really interesting here. So this is what I think. I think <laughs> that the winner of the between the California kid, Uriah Faber, and Frankie Edgar, which is coming up here, I believe, in a month or so, I think the winner of that fight should get the winner of the champ, Aldo, Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. I think that's how that should go. I think the winner of this fight, Mendez Lamez, should get the loser of the champ and Conor McGregor. Okay? Okay. I think the loser of the Frankie Edgar <laughs> and California Kid match should either get the loser of this match, Mendez, Mendez and uh, Lamas, or possibly the winner 
out of um, uh, uh, Max Holloway and Cub, Cub Swanson. I believe it's the same division. We got that coming up too. I think the winner of that fight could eat their way up in there. So that's what I think should happen there. So I think the winner of the California Kid should get the winner of the champ and Connor. I think the winner of this fight should get the loser of the champ and Connor. I think the the loser of this fight and the loser of the Minda or the uh, Edgar fight should either fight each other and they get the next title shot, or one of them should fight the Cub Swanson and they should get the next uh, title shot. So I thought that was pretty confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know all of your picks. Let me know any injury updates, any latest news. Let me know what you're, what you would like to happen in that featherweight breakdown in these next, these big fights we got coming up next. Let me know what you think should happen. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Janello, Janello, -E -L -L, Janelle Owens, or friend me on Facebook and friend me on Facebook, Janelle Owens. Talk to me. Take care and goodbye.